Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace a PCB in this Hoover tumble dryer. If you've seen one of our diagnosis videos and realize that the PCB is the problem in your appliance, this is how to fix it. Now, safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing I need to do is to remove the top of the appliance by undoing these three screws at the back. With the top removed, the next step is to take off the control panel, which is held in place by these two screws at the top. With the screws removed, the control panel can drop down, and here we see the PCB, or printed circuit board, in position there. Grab your new board, and you can see how it fits in. So the best thing to do is to start by removing the electrical connectors from the old board. No need to take a photo as they only fit in one position back on the new board. Releasing the catch on this one. With all the electrical connections removed, I can now pop the board out of the control panel just by releasing these clips that hold it into place. Grab your new board. It's worth noting that before fitting the board, the control shaft has to fit right through the circuit board. So you have to make sure the shaft is in the right position, which is normally at the 12 o'clock position. The board just fits in one side before clicking onto the other side. You can then refit the electrical connections. You're then ready to refit the control panel. There we have it, one new PCB fitted to this Hoover tumble dryer. Spares for tumble dryers and other appliances can be found on the eSpares.co.uk website. Thanks for watching.